Hey everybody, it's Blake with ChannelAndroid.com. Today we're going to look at a new leaked build of Honeycomb for the Logitech Review with Google TV. This, if you remember or have seen in the previous videos, was a pretty nice and welcome thing to see. Uh, first off, let's just show this right here. Bam, Netflix. We do have Netflix, and that was one thing that really made the previous leak not so much attractive. But keep in mind, this is not official. So here we are with this this new leak, and you may be thinking, do I want to install this or not? First off, let's say that if you're going to install this, it is a leak, you could damage your device, you will void, void excuse me, your warranty. Um, and thanks to the guys at gtvhacker.com, as in as the same as before, where the files were available and instructions and everything. Basically, if you want to install this, you're going to need to install the previous leak before you install this. If you don't do that, you're going to brick your device. So you can go over to GTV Hacker, go watch our other video from several weeks ago that were that was the instructions on installing the last honeycomb leak. Do what those instructions say. You get the files from GTV Hacker. I believe they're still linked in the uh, underneath the video there. And then once you've done that, uh, basically you'll follow the same instructions you'll just get a new file from GTV Hacker. Uh, I'll try to remember to put those in the comments underneath this video. And you'll install the new file the same way you did the previous file. The only thing that's different is that when you go to uh, recovery, instead of holding down the function and left arrow key, you will hold down the alt key and the L key. Other than that, it will happen pretty much exactly the same. So, what's really different here? First off, my memory's a little hazy of how much I enjoyed the last build. I was excited to see it because of the promise that it had, but it was obvious that it was not finished. This actually feels very nice, very polished. Uh, the browser feels like it's a little bit more ready for prime time, I'll say. Um, of course, I already showed you it has Netflix. We have a little bit of a difference in the market. So we'll launch the market real quick. We do have, when you first go into the market, the featured for TV section. That was there before, and there are different applications there now. Um, and I installed several of these applications. All of them installed, all of them launched. I think it has more to do with the availability of the SDK being updated for uh, Google TV more than anything else. So uh, there's only one thing in the featured section up here. You can't go and browse through non-Google TV apps like you could on the previous version so it looks like Google's kind of fixed that that little hole where you could kind of get in and go do some things, um, try and download applications that weren't necessarily made for Google TV. But, you know, there are some applications that you may not expect or that, are, that aren't that are necessarily uh, video or anything like that, like the movies application. Uh, this is an application that I like on the phone. And uh, if I open it, it's going to launch on the device and obviously the developers have laid this out so that it is customized for Google TV. Um, so it, it, right now when I search um, nothing happens. I get an error. I don't know if that has something to do with uh, me doing it now and this will get better or if this is just because we are on a leaked build and it's not ready. You can see there also the My Apps section will not launch. So that's a problem but it's not a major problem. I'm sure that you could still 
do some side loading of applications like you could on the previous leaked build. So let's hit the home button and go back, go back to all apps. And this, like CNN Money, this is an application that was in the App Store, and you can launch it just fine. You can watch videos. Um, what else do we have? Discovery Earth is one that launched. You have your map here. Uh, whatever. I mean, you can play the video. I don't have to walk through all these apps. Just kind of showing you what I think it will be nice to see Google TV doing in the future. We also have this game, Dragonfly. It's the actually on, the only game that would launch, or that was in the uh, the market actually. So, and I don't think anybody's going to be putting a tremendous amount of time into playing it. Uh, I'm not even going to waste the time on this video to show it. Uh, we have the. Um, DLNA working okay here. I've connected my Droid Bionic and uh, I can go and go through the folders, look at pictures. So this is all working okay. Okay, it's not working okay. <laughs> it's working. I just put my phone down and maybe it's been sitting for too long without any activity but trust me I was looking at pictures earlier so that works but pretty much everything else looks like it's about the same there's not a tremendous amount of difference it just feels like this is more polished and it's more ready for prime time um, and you kinda have to believe if you get your hands on this that this is a good sign for fans of the Logitech review and a good sign that we will see a official honeycomb build for the Logitech review in the very near future so let us cross our fingers until then head on over to our website at channelandroid.com let us know what you think and we appreciate you watching our videos and visiting our site